What is up, guys? This content is made possible by EA Game Changers. So, we are doing a brand new series on this channel uh, of Cottage Living. I like to do these at the start of every new expansion pack where I try and do everything the expansion pack has to offer in one playthrough. Uh, we've had so many other kind of playthroughs on this channel, going from like the Star Wars one, which uh, Batu, you know, uh, we've had the, we did a homeless challenge, which was kind of interesting with the eco living one. And this is cottage living. So I'm going to build a brand new sim, use some of the stuff, kind of review it a lot of what this expansion pack has to offer this episode. And then we're going to go through an entire life, kind of living in this world, experiencing the fun things like raising and befriending animals, living off the land, embracing village life. Like I want to do everything this expansion pack has to offer just so you guys know that being made possible by the ea game changers they provided me a code that's it they aren't paying me or anything my opinion's 100 percent my own but they did provide me a code which was very nice of them they clearly added a lot of new items i haven't played too much with it yet so it's gonna be a pretty new experience for me i also haven't played with the last game pack you gotta be honest i never got around to playing with it but let's kind of just get a start at home move in and kind of go through those systems, play with the new skills, play with the new animals, and see see what it's all about. So I'm just going to hit this. We're going to hit new. I do own every single one, which is a little crazy. Um, we own every single pack, which I don't know. I, I like don't even think about. I always make, and you, I always try my best to sort of make myself. And I'm just going to keep it that way. I think I'm going to be single in this one. But I do want to get a family relatively quickly. So maybe we'll m marry some people from the uh, from the village here. We're going to use all items from the new expansion. Just to kind of A, check out what the items look like. They actually, they're pretty cute, man. This pack, I, for what I've seen, I really like. But it kind of feels like it should have been with the some of the aspects should have been with pets other aspects should have been with like eco living at my opinion but i'm i'm okay with it just with like how the pack looks and kind of how it feels it feels like some of it could have been used in other packs but i'm not too worried about it if i can play it if i can enjoy it man i'm all about it i uh the way i always judge these packs on value and i think it's i think it's a good way to judge kind of new expansion packs on and if they're worth your money and time is is based on how much time you get out of it so for like this pack for example i believe it's 39.99 or 29.99 um the way i judge it is if i got like 30 hours of entertainment out of this pack it would be worth it and that's kind of how i like to judge it it's like a dollar per hour and it's it's always been my rating system for these packs is to kind of see if i can get that much entertainment out of it and if i can it's it's worth it to me and i'm not sure if i will or won't we're gonna try it and play through i usually like to give a full kind of analysis at the end of my at the end of these videos um towards the end of the episode so as we go through this and the series kind of goes through i will give my final take on it after i play all the way through it and do all the aspects there's always little things I find I miss in these games that you guys in the comments let me know about, which I think is great. Um, cool. I actually, I haven't even played since they added likes and dislikes, which please don't hate me. Uh, we're going to do this. Country caretaker. Country caretakers want to tend to the countryside and befriend all the animals and stuff. And it's part of the collector perk, which is fine. Uh, do we care about these? I guess. I guess we do. Color blue. Oh, don't add as a dislike. We'll add as a like. You can actually dislike all different colors? Oh, that's interesting. I know this isn't even part of the pack, so I shouldn't even talk too much about it. But just for my own sake, I kind of want to like look at them. I'm going to say yes to gardening. I'm sure gardening will be important in this pack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go see if there's any new skills. Maker's not a new skill. I actually don't know if there was a new... I think lactose intolerant was a new skill and people were kind of irked by it. Uh, green fiend. These sims are happiest when living on a green street with continuously 
continuously work towards... Uh, this isn't part of this pack either, but I feel like it's... Oh, Animal Yay. Enthusiast. We'll snag that. Cool. And then, I, I'm not sure what else we'll grab here. Sorry, it was a little loud. Um, We'll grab good. And we're just going to go live and love life. Okay, now I need a cool name. Hook me up. Braylon. No. Kale. Kale. Perfect. Kale Willis. My boy, Kale Willis. Perfect. I, I love it. Kale Willis. Kale is the ultimate name for uh, for this guy as he'll be living on the kind of in this world and stuff. A little bit of Kale Willis here. So let's move on into the brand new neighborhood. See what it's all about. I'm assuming I haven't even looked at it. I got to be honest. I'm assuming it has a starter home. We're going to move in the spring. Get as far away from winter as possible. I think animals will probably have an impact during winter. And it is end Ford on Braley? I, I I don't know what that name was. Uh, and I know I pronounced it wrong. Is there a... There's not a current home we can move into. Well, that's silly. I could buy this home, or I could... We can't afford this lot. Hold up. I think we can just make an edit then. Can we... Oh, wait. There is a starter home. Blind as a bat. It's right up there. It's all the way on the top there. Natural light, wild foxes, lot challenges... That's interesting. Lot challenges. I'm assuming that's new. I've never seen lot challenges before. Um, I'm assuming that's new. Lot challenges. Huh. Interesting. Wild foxes and simple living. It's a cottage. We can barely afford it, so we're going to have to make ends meet, probably by living off the land, which is what I'm all about, guys. I My favorite challenge ever is the... Is always the Runaway Teen series dash like rags to riches. I love the starting where you're kind of struggling to make ends meet. I think it makes a sim so much more challenging. And I really appreciate that when playing through these games because sometimes I find the Sims games be a little too easy. If you go back to like games like Castaway, like Sims Castaway, one of my favorite games of all time, that game was a challenge and it was a blast. But let's move in. Well, obviously eco green that makes sense we already have stuff here like uh, chickens and it looks like we might even have we have to buy animals so let's purchase some chickadoos i'm assuming they breed now that might be a bad assumption to make but my assumption is they breed so i'm just gonna get one of each is that too much that's too it's too much bob that's a old reference to uh to prices right uh don't mind me okay uh, hold up. What is that? Wait, what is that? On the, I don't like that. What is it? Hmm, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Don't look at that. There's going to be some things that I might not know because of the new game pack, but I'll try my best to not act super surprised. So purchase one chicken, cow, or llama on your home lot. So I guess for now we just purchase two chicks. We'll pitch purchase a hen and a rooster you uh, roosters a male hen is a female we probably need them to mate i'm assuming there's breeding in this might be a bad assumption but let's do it socialize with a fox rabbit or bird five times uh visit old new henford the bramble neighbor okay so we just have to kind of go around and see everything for now what i'm going to do and i know you guys are about to judge me hardcore any fruit or veggie oh what is this cottage living a friendly normal treat that animals love effects oh any fruit or veggie huh. i i don't i don't know what that is is that the new is that where the new notebook is it used to be up here i'm assuming that's the new notebook i don't think this could be a bad assumption and i probably should have done a little bit more research before going into this but the big thing whenever I play these is I like to go into these games blind because it ruins the game for me if I watch other people play. And it's very funny. As a, as a content creator, you'd be like, Josh, are you telling people not to watch your content? No. I watch people's content whenever I want to uh, get an understanding or see a game prior to buying it. In this case, I did get this game for free. But if I want to see a game or uh kind of witness it before buying it i like to uh 
I like to watch it. In this case, because I knew I was going to stream this game and share it with you guys, I did not want to uh I did not want to see it prior. It would have been ooh. Hold up. Oversized crop seeds. Wait a second. What the heck? What is this? Did they actually fix did they add farming? Uh Malone's wait. Are these seasonal? I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Or maybe they maybe they aren't. I don't know. I'm gonna buy some and plant those Larry's. Um sure if you click, then plant oversized crops, watermelon, plant lettuce, plant pumpkins. Cool. Here's my chicken. Debate ethics of sim fighting. Wait a second. With the chicken? With the chicken? I... What? Hello? Have you been to Black Spire on Batu? <laughs> we are going to Batu. <laughs> it just... It keeps reminding me of James Turner, who, like... Who, who is going crazy about Batu. I don't know if you guys have seen... It's a really funny video. I'm a huge fan of James Turner. I think he's a really good guy. And there was this video he made freaking out about Batu. And it's just universal across the entire pack as no one liked it. So he was kind of memeing. I really appreciate that about James. Um, he's always been really honest with his opinion. He doesn't sugarcoat things. I think it's nice. But he, it was really funny seeing him. Uh, uh, gather roaming chickens to coop. Assign chicken. Scatter feed nearby. We probably should do that. And then, I wonder if they're going to hatch. I'm, I'm sure they will, right? Trade for? You can trade them? Why would I want to do that? And then we can upgrade it. Livestock upgrades. So if we want to upgrade it, we're going to need livestock upgrades. Collect eggs is actually what I was looking for. Because I assume there was eggs in this game. One egg collected. Not special. One egg collected. You discover the information. But, oh, I should have actually read that. Let's actually read that. One egg. Make, buy, use for the ideal ingredient for egg-based recipes without an, any unwanted side effects. Hatchable. No. I'm going to sell it. It's going to be a source of income for me. Hello? Are, are you my only neighbor? Oh, well, this is going to be kind of lonely. Like, who the heck am I going to befriend? Like, you seem like a nice... You seem like a nice enough fellow. Like, I'm not going to be rude. You seem like a nice dude. I just don't know who the heck I'm going to befriend out here. Can you walk, like, here? And then just walk right here. Cool. All right. Nice. I just wanted a screenshot real quick. What is that? Center on current lot. Oh. I just wanted a nice screenshot of you, buddy. Nice. You look very handsome. Kale. <laughs> His name's Kale. All right. Let's do this. Cool. Is Kayla an actual name? Like, I hope I'm not being rude to uh, one person in my chat whose name is Kale. And they're like, stop making fun of the name Kale. I like it. It's like very green. Is there actually not a skill? I assumed there would be a skill for taking care of the animal. What are you doing, you crazy... You crazy thing. You probably shouldn't be fighting my, my animals, man. Socialize with a fox, rabbit. Okay. No, no, no. Click on a flock of wild birds, foxes, or rabbits. Interact with them. Tip. If you're having trouble finding these creatures, try visiting the Bramblewood neighborhood. I guess in this episode, we could spend a little bit of time and go visit all the other neighborhoods. What's this? Is this... Is this oh, that's chicken feed. Gotcha. And how expensive are these animals? No, no, no. I don't really care about naming it. Really expensive. Okay, so we're not going to take care of any of those. These oversized plots are interesting. Are they actually going to grow nine sets of vegetables and stuff? I would think that's pretty awesome. As a man who loves to do uh, manage all that, a little lantern stuff. I'm kind of looking around, see if there's any new harvestables out. What's this? Wait, what is this? Oh, Go socialize with a flock of birds. Ask for advice. Show dance moves. That's weird. You can I really show your dance moves? Talk about feather. This, this is all talk about the trees. Mm, that's a weird dude. 
weird dude. <sighs> Kale, you are an oddball. Now, I don't mind you being an oddball. You're just an oddball. Dance moves is in my bones. Kale seemed to be having a good time in the dance floor. Should he gain the interesting of dancing? Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure if I like it or dislike it, but... I'm sure if I if I had it in the game from the beginning, I would have been a bigger fan of it. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Hey. I guess next we can go, like, visit, like, the other neighborhoods. I think that would be kind of a cool idea. Though, this map is freaking ginormous. I know there was some complaints um, about the map. The worlds keep getting smaller. The worlds in, like, in total, if that makes sense. But, like, what the heck are you doing, dude? What the heck is he doing? Why are you running like that? You okay? Uh -huh. Maybe you shouldn't. No, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. I don't like the way he's running. He's making me uncomfortable. Go talk to him. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go talk to that fella. He's a funny runner. I, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's... There's bathrooms and stuff. You could really have a nice homeless sim. I... I know I've been talking a lot about about him a lot. I think the uh, I think James Turner has a video of him going from nothing to like homeless to big house, which I think was kind of cool. But let's head uh, end the event. Let's just go to those other neighborhoods real quick and get like a feel for them, man. I kind of want to see like what they're about. So we're obviously in this top neighborhood. It's uh, Bramblewood. The Bramble, the natural beauty of the woods have long provided a picture picturesque place for many wild birds rabbits and foxes to call home whether a small surprise under sophie the snail bringing an easel to paint the scenery of the falls foraging for wild mushrooms or finding romance among the ruins on the isle of volop any sim would be transformed by a day in bramblewood new old New, oh, I don't like that. Old New Henford. An area that boasts rolling hills, lush estates. Okay, whatever. And then Finch, Fin, Finch, Wick, Finch, Wick. I'm going to go here, but like, it's not like I know anyone here, but like, that is a lot of people in one home. No, that's five. Feels like a lot. When you see it, when I see an image like that, it feels like a lot, though five's not that many. I grew up in a house of six of us, so I, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised when I see five and one underneath one roof. It just looks like a lot to me. But I'm going to go to each of these places, kind of get a look at the neighborhood, and then we're going to keep going through the greatness that it... Ooh, you, got, you got these over... Ooh, what's that? Wait a second. Did you make a freaking... It looks like a house. Adorable. Cute. Cute. What's this? Nothing? Okay. That little pond? A little pond, actually. Go knock on the door his own home. Mm, nobody's home. I need a pee, though. Oh, let me in. Wait, is this community lot? Cute. Oh! No. Nothing's harvestable. Cute lot, though. Jeez. This is just hanging out? I know there's a lot of parks, but man, this is actually really cute. I really like this one. Oh, wait. Is it not? Do not interact with it? I'm like, oh no, I guess you can. It's cute, man. It's actually a really cute little... Oh, there's even the little little dirt seeds over there. Oh, that's nice. Oversized fertilizer. Boom. Yeah, go uproot that. Oh, you just threw it out? Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Okay, but let's look at the neighborhood. So, big neighborhood. Another little... So, they got a few little little parks in here, which is cute. Um, I love this pond. This pond is adorable. Then there's more stuff over here. Really nice looking house. A lot of land on that house. I would like that land. I, I've been looking at houses IRL and I really want to get one with a lot of land. It's kind of a dream of mine. I like the random like uh, like random random places. And it looks like there's a lot of collectibles. Rocks there. A couple of weird trees. There was a frog thing over there. A couple of people hanging out. Cute little... Cute little landscape, man. Looks like a pretty big neighborhood again, though. Let's go over to the community lots in the center of town. It kind of has the same format as Brittleton Bay, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like exactly this. Uh, I, I guess this one has community lots up here. Like housing. 
I feel like it has... Which, no, I, I guess it is kind of unique. It, it just reminds me a lot of Brittleton Bay with how it's kind of structured with these two neighborhoods of just housing and residential. There, this is a rental though, which is an intriguing little little tidbit. Um, you know, obviously we have these two houses here and then we've got the, the cute little like Times Square, center, center of the town. Let's go ahead on in there. What did that say? The Old Mill Village provides itself on its bustling and close-knit community. Its historic square features a pub, stalls amid flowering gardens. All right, I'll be a judge if it's action as pretty as this game likes to say. We will see. Let's go check it out real quick. This playthrough, though, I really want to complete this lifetime wish and raise a very bustling farm. I know right now, this first episode is pretty much just us checking out the expansion, which... I'm sure you probably expected. I want to know what was going on. I want to know what the world looked like. We're going to have some fun raising a very lush garden and expanding on our farm and getting cows and llamas and all that fun stuff. Let's just take a quick look at what this looks like. So we're 100% going to complete this. Uh, once you complete, you get nature, conservationist, conser conversationalist, sorry, nature conversationalist, uh, Country caretakers want to tend the countryside and befriend all the animals. Uh, Sims have improved relationships with animals, allowing their animals to live longer, uh, happier lives. Rabbits and birds will bring them gifts, and they can interact with plants in a unique way, receiving more yield from harvests. They also receive free grocery delivery when residing in Henford on Bragley, uh, a discount on the bills. Befriend a chicken or cow or llama. Place one wild rabbit hole, fertilize oversized plants, three give three gifts to foxes, rabbits, or birds, craft animal treats five times, harvest one perfect quality oversized crop, forage five times in Bramblewood, reach a maximum relationship with a cow, chicken, or llama, receive three gifts, win a competition, and Henford on Bragley's Findwich Fair. Very cool. This it's it, every time they make one of these kind of lifetime wishes, it's just like exposing you to everything the expansion pack has to offer, which I'm kind of a hit or miss with it because I know I'm going to do it the first time, hundred percent, of course, cause I want to complete it. But then like how many more times will I do that? Like bat two, for example, how many times am I just going to go through the entire story of bat two or strangerville? How many times am I just going to do strangerville? Um, Hint, not very often, maybe once, maybe twice, but like it's not going to be a regular lifetime wish. And I don't like that. It's kind of just like a tutorial of the like, game. So for a lifetime wish, I don't think it's a great lifetime wish, but at least it's, uh, at, at least they brought it into the game and we'll be able to experience it. Though the rewards to it, like completing it, seems pretty cool. Um, like I'm excited about the rewards and stuff. Anyways, guys, let me wrap this up here. I really appreciate everyone's viewership and support. If you guys enjoyed the content, I highly recommend to look down below and hit that like and subscribe button. I freaking love her hair. But why is she so pale? Is she a wizard? Wait, what is her deal? Wait, do I actually know this person? I don't know. Anyways, if uh, if you guys enjoy the content, please look down below. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Let me know if you guys want to see more content of this and what you think of the series. I'll catch you all in a future episode. But for now, guys... Let me let y'all go. See y'all later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.